So I just got to my gate. I literally, I, I can't believe I almost missed my flight to do my hair. My mother almost killed me. Anyways, the flight's delayed, so it's okay. Um, let me let me turn towards the lighting. Um, so I'm okay because the flight's delayed, but literally, if it wasn't, I would have missed my flight. But like, how cute is my hair though? It looks cute, right? I've never been full red before. I've definitely never been this like burgundy color, but I do love it and it's falling really nicely. Um, I did tell my hairstylist to do like tight curls so that when it drops, like it's wavy. Um, Cause it's super hot outside. It's gonna be like 30 in New York. So I know that it's gonna be like crazy, crazy hot. Um, but yeah, she did a really, really good job. But I probably need a trim, but I'm also super glad because I bleached it. I bleached my entire head, which I've, I've done once. And you know, that was a very long time ago. A few years ago, I had like a little skunk action happening and it was very chic and I missed it. So anyway, I wanted to do full red, but yeah, I'm very excited to go to New York for fashion week. I haven't been to New York for fashion week in forever in like so many years. So yeah, I'm excited. Super side note, but I'm eating the grossest sandwich right now. And it was like $24. I forgot what the place is called, but it's nearby gate F51 on Pearson. $24 for a ham sandwich. So nasty. We haven't eaten anything since breakfast, so. They get you one way or another. So, my flight was canceled. <laughs> I feel like every time I try to do like a travel vlog when I'm actually in the airport, some wild shit happens. Yeah, so first it was delayed, delayed, delayed. Like literally like at 6.30 and like, the flight was supposed to leave at four, so it was delayed for two hours. Now it's canceled, and there are no more flights for the night, so no parties for me, no Thursday parties, but uh, you know, it's all good. Um, I just hope that my luggage is safe, and um, could be worse, I could be stuck somewhere else, but I'm close to home, so. Yeah. Here's my airport fit, by the way. Daniel Guzio, vintage Chanel, and my Sambas. Is this normal? Like, actually, though. So now I am still at Pearson. It's a lot later, and I have to figure out where are my luggage is? Someone told me that it's gonna just be put onto the next flight. But obviously, I wanna confirm that. I don't just wanna leave my luggage here. Um, but yeah, this sucks. Really, really sucks. Keep you posted. So I just spoke to someone from Air Canada. I didn't have to wait in another line, thank God. And they are keeping our luggage overnight and putting it on the next flight. So, my hair looks great though. I'm kind of sad that this hair is not getting New York. I'm gonna, oh my God. <gasps> my flat iron's in New York. Oh my God, my air, like my flat iron. My, oh God, there's so much stuff that's in, that's in my luggage that I need for tonight. Oh, that's okay. It's okay. I'll be okay. I think. It's the next morning. And I'm finally getting on my flight. It was canceled yesterday. So they booked us on the first thing smoking this morning, which was an early wake up, but it is what it is. You know what, my hair doesn't look too bad. I was a little upset that, you know, my fresh blowout hair was not gonna be seeing New York, but it's okay. It's still, it's still kinda cute. 
still got some body yachty, you know. I guess I should show you my updated flight fit. I'm wearing a sky hoodie and my vintage Chanel, some Daniel Guzio sweatpants, some Sambas, and uh, my Ricky Kim socks. I'll try and find a mirror when I get to my cousin's place. Okay, so I just landed in New York. Finally. Oh my god, I'm waiting for my luggage. I think that beeping noise means that the luggage is coming. I literally, we literally had to leave our luggage at the airport yesterday. So I'm just like, oh, please, we've, we've been through enough. Give us our things and let us go home. Oh, I hope that's a really good beeping noise. I hope that's a positive beeping noise. Okay, the thing's moving. This is good. This is good. I really have to go to the bathroom, but I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna wait it out and go when I get to my cousin's place because fingers crossed, prayers, thoughts and prayers. So, Air Canada lost my luggage. Well, technically, it, technically it's not lost. It's in Toronto, but um, that is a very traumatic thing to be happening. New York Fashion Week, it's like they canceled my flight yesterday, and then now I'm missing another day because I have no clothes, no skincare, no hair products, nothing like even like my toothbrush well i think i have a toothbrush in my backpack but even still it's like <sighs> not pleased not pleased at all can you turn on hot 97 uh, what uh, no. um hot 97 so 97 point 97 point one i want to say So update, um, my bag's in Toronto and it's supposed to be getting on a flight at 3. Hopefully they deliver my bag to me ASAP because I really don't want to Uber all the way here again. Like, New York traffic, like, I'm really good on that. I have a f guy that I know that uh, works at Air Canada, God bless him. I told him that, you know, if he helps me find my bags, we can go on a date. <laughs> I might even send him some nudes. I'm gonna do whatever I need to get to get that bag. <laughs> whatever I need to do, by any means necessary at this point, you know what I mean? Because we need hair products, we need skincare products, we need the products, honey. We need the bits. We need the boots. I'm kind of proud that my hair is still <clears throat> somewhat intact, somewhat, you know, it's not awful, you know, it's still giving a bit of a vibe, so, um, yeah, I'll keep you posted, hopefully I get it before tonight, pray for me, yeah. <sighs> uh. Okay, do you know, do you know what time it's gonna go out? Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye for now. Okay, so update. Um, I have a driver uh, that's going to drop off my luggage. It is 4.30, I believe. Um, 
I have literally been sitting in my cousin's apartment waiting all day for updates and so I was like let me just like call them because I was looking at again I haven't done my hair <laughs> I was looking at um, like the tracker and it was like showing that my luggage was just sitting there in in LaGuardia so I was like let me just call them and see like what the holdup is because I didn't want to pick it up because it's like a hundred dollar uber ride USD so like no I'm not doing that so anyway now I am walking to the subway to head to Sephora to get a blow dryer because Air Canada should fucking cover it you know because look at my edges not okay not cool oh my god as i was blow drying my hair i saw two missed calls and i was like holy shit is it happening is it happening and he says he's right outside with my luggage holy fuck i'm sweating so hard but i'm just like oh <laughs> this is just a real moment you have no idea Holy shit. Elevator is taking way too long, so I am taking the stairs, even though I'm not gonna be able to bring it up. <laughs> we'll figure that out when we need to. Okay, so I wanted to finish this with the fact that I actually got my luggage. I finally got it. Oh my God. It literally came around 8.10, even though it was said to come at 7 p.m. So they were late, late regardless, but that's okay. It's figured out. I have my things. Everything's in the suitcase. That's all that matters. And um, I'm disappointed in Air Canada for doing that without my consent. But I have my suitcase. The rest will be dealt with after, because you already know. Anyways, I'm gonna go enjoy New York. Thanks for watching.